What is up guys? Welcome to the first lesson in JavaScript. And in this video, we're going to be going over how you can create a statement that changes a square into a red circle. And we're going to be talking about the console as well, and just how to get started with your first project in general. So this is what we will be making. And as you can see, it turned into a red circle. And in the console down here, it says square clicked. And I'm going to be using Firefox for most of my videos when doing these tutorials, but it should be more or less the same on Google. All you need to do is make sure that when you go to a web page, you right click on it and analyze the element and find the console. But the first thing you want to do in Visual Studio Code is go to file and we want to open a folder and I'm just going to go to my desktop and create a new folder inside here. So I'm just going to name this new folder with capital letters and I'm going to click on this one right here. So as you can see, when you open an empty folder, you'll get this empty folder right here that right under open editors and inside here we can start adding some files. The first thing we have to do is type in index.html because we need to have some HTML to create the web page for the JavaScript to manipulate. And inside here we'll just type in HTML5 and we'll just leave it as that. It's a very simple example so it doesn't matter that much. And the first thing we should do is create inside the body a div and we're going to give it the ID of block so we can easily remember that and we're going to give it an on click method which will be used for javascript and we're going to provide a function which says do something so every time we click on this div it's going to trigger this function in javascript which will execute a few lines of code and effectively turn that square into a circle but right now it doesn't do anything and the main point of this HTML file today is to show you that we actually need to provide a script, which we have not created yet. So let's go ahead and type that. We're just gonna name it events.js and that will define it as a JavaScript file. So in index.html, now we can go ahead and link it. So I'm gonna link it right under the body, right before the closing HTML tag, it's gonna be called script. And you'll see there'll be a source and then we can call the events Dot js. Now the reason I add it at the bottom is because when you actually load an HTML element it does take time and so do loading scripts which means if you place it above the body you might see a delay in the loading speed of your website. So I'm just going to leave it at the bottom but of course in modern web development there's also the chance to add it in the head because they have come up with something called asynchronous loading but I think the easiest way to explain it for now is to leave it at the bottom because that is just efficient and easy to use. So we are going to leave it right under the body tag and one more thing we should do is provide a CSS so we're just going to type in link. And as you can see, it says style.css. So we'll just use that name to keep things simple. We'll type in style.css. So this right here is going to link to our style CSS over there. Now all we have to do is go ahead and edit it so we can actually get a beautiful red circle. So we're gonna to go to style and we're going to call our block. We're going to make it 100 pixels for the height and 100 pixels for the width. The background color is going to be a gray. We're gonna give it a border radius of two pixels. Then we want to provide a transition, which will allow us to have a smooth effect from whatever changes, which means if it turns from a square to a circle, it's gonna do that over the course of the amount of time you give it. So I'm gonna provide two seconds as the transition time. And finally, we're gonna give it a margin auto so we can leave it in the center of the screen and click on save. And now is a good opportunity to show you what the live server was for from the last video. If you right click on your index.html and you click on open with live server, you'll notice a window will open up in your browser. And essentially what the live server does is just push all the changes to the server or to our page. So every time we hit control plus S or we save the page, this will update automatically. So as you can see so far, we have this gray block, but right now when we click on it, nothing happens. That is because we need to define this do something function inside our events. So in JavaScript, all we have to do is type in function to define a function and we need to provide the name of the function. Now, the first thing we're gonna do inside here is log what is happening. And logging is a very good way to debug the code you're currently working on, which in easier terms just means a way to see what's happening 
and register the events that are happening in order as they are happening. So for example, we click on the square, we want it to say square clicked. In case something goes wrong, we can tell that it went wrong after we clicked on the square. Then we want to get the element that we want to change. So we're gonna type in document dot get element by ID. And we just named it block. So we just have to type in block. And what we want to change is the style and the background color. And then in quotation marks, we need to write what color we want to change it to. And this can be a hex code such as hash FFF, or it can be one of the colors that are provided by JavaScript, such as crimson or blue, you can type that as well. And for now, all you need to know is that a statement is a line of code that executes something such as this. This is a statement. Console log is a statement because they both execute a command. But then we're just going to continue with document get element by ID. We're going to call our block again because right now we just changed the background color, but we also want to change the radius to 100%. So we're gonna say dot style dot border radius, and we're gonna set that to 100%. Now, when we click on save, we can go ahead and click on this cube and it will slowly turn into a circle. That's because we load the HTML. It turns into a square that has this on click function and then it loads the script, which allows us to change this into a circle. And I forgot to show you that we have the console to show us that we clicked on the square. So just find the source code and click on console. And inside here, you'll notice that when we click on this square, it's going to say square clicked. But the main point of this video is to show you that you can create some very simple code that will actually allow you to create more interactive HTML and change CSS elements. You can create forms, you can you can do so much with JavaScript that will allow you to actually interact with the web page. And this was a very basic example that you can edit some CSS, you can log some things, but of course I'll show you some more complex examples as we move on with the course. I'm gonna show you how to essentially catch errors in case something goes wrong in your code, it will still execute the rest. I'll teach you how to do that as well. And we'll go over everything you need in JavaScript to be a successful web developer. But with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the first lesson of the JavaScript tutorial and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.